This is the F5 VS for vertical standing. This is the most uh, up-to-date power chair. If you need a chair that will stand you straight up, this one will do it. It has all kinds of features. It has the standing feature. It has the 14-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric legs. So this chair is fully loaded. Uh, it has all the benefits and everything else of uh, the F5 VS vertical standing. This chair has 218 miles, so it was used for about three to six months at the most, three to six months. It has what's called the aggressive tires, so these are the knobby tires. If you go outside, you can see how they're more aggressive. The outside, they're more knobby. This can be used inside and outside. So the first feature we're going to talk about is the standing feature, because that's what everybody buys this chair or looking for. The first feature, you can work all the features through the joystick or through the switch box. I'm going to do the first button here, which is the standing feature. And the chair will start going up and standing. This chair will still drive with the seat elevated. So, so when it's going up, it does lay you down a little bit like this. Then it brings you up. These chairs are just a marvel. Marvelous chairs. So this is, you are almost there with a standing feature. Now, if you if you are going to buy this chair, you really need to get a hold with your doctor. Make sure that you can stand for how long you can stand. You need to get a hold of your, your physical therapist. So this is the standing feature right here, and I'm going to put it back in drive, and you can see, even with the standing feature, it'll still drive. I'm going to turn it sideways here so you can see it. You've got your, you can use this chest guard, or actually, I forgot to do it, but technically, when you stand up, I did everything backward this morning. It's Monday morning, so when you stand up, you really technically should have these knee brace in here. So you would have your knee brace to keep you in the chair and you would have your this chest guard if you need to have this one or you could use you can use this one here. So you have the chest the knee brace and the knee brace is fully adjustable so is the chest guard fully adjustable depending on how far you want it from your chest. So that's the standing feature right there. You can see the back of the chair You can see the aggressive tires on it. You have a backpack back here that can be removed. And while we have the seat elevated, let's look at the suspension on this chair. Look at the suspension. This is your front suspension. This is your rear suspension. This suspension can be adjusted by turning these rings over here to adjust the suspension. You got the same thing on both sides. So both sides have the same suspension. Back here we've got the aggressive 14 inch tires. You've got your caster wheels in the back. You have a motor for each wheel. Each side has a motor. This is your lever right here. If I want to push this chair, I could push the lever down and the wheel would be in neutral. You have to do both sides if you want to roll the chair. This chair weighs over 400 pounds, so it's not an easy chair to push. This puts it back into gear and you're back in gear. So, so far, now, I'm going to turn the power back on because when you put it in neutral, it turns off the computer. So, now we're back, we should be back in gear. So, this is the standing position. Let me turn it this way so you can look at the seat also. Now, the seat on this chair right now is 18 inches wide by 21 inches long, but we can adjust the length and the width of these seats. 18 wide. 20 inch, 21 inches long, we can adjust the length. So this is the standing feature right there. The next function we're going to cover is the 14 inch seat lift. This would be the seat lift. You will start right here at about 22 inches and you go up 14 inches. You'll be about 34 inches, I'm sorry, 36 inches by the time you're all the way up from 22 at 14 inches, you'll be about 36 inches by the time it's all the way up. So you'll definitely be eye level, if not more than eye level. 
This is the 14 inch seat lift right there. And you can see the armature for the seat lift, how well built these chairs are. And also this chair will drive with the seat elevated. It drives about one and a half, two miles an hour with the seat elevated. I would not drive with the seat elevated unless you're inside of a house or in really flat air if you don't put any strain on the seat elevator. So this is your this is your 14 inch seat elevation right there. And we're we'll bring it back down. Then we're going to cover the electric tilt and the electric legs after that. You've got a swing away joystick here so the joystick can swing away from the front. You have 16 inch gel arms. These are gel padded arms. These are, these are the upgraded gel padded arms. 16 inch gel padded arms. You've got lateral pads on the side too right here. So these lateral pads and also the arms go up for easy exit. If you want to take this pad out, you can just loosen it up and it can be moved up and down this shaft right here. Wait, if you wanted more here or if you wanted more in or out, they're all adjustable. As you can see the adjustments here. So there's lateral pads, gel arms, swing away joystick. The next, the next thing we're going to look at is the electric tilt. So this would be the electric tilt where the bottom here goes back, which will take the back with, with it at the same time. This is called your electric tilt. Always be careful when you tilt that your seat belt does not get caught up in your actuators. So this is your electric tilt and then the next thing we're going to do is the electric legs. These legs are adjustable so if you're longer, shorter, there's two screws here. We can move these foot plate up and down this shaft here. They'll still be electric. We can adjust it for your height and weight. These are your electric legs. So if you wanted to have some circulation, of course this would be extreme sitting this way. We definitely would have circulation. But probably you would probably want to be more like um, so you could still be in this position here and still have circulation. Your legs would still be higher than your body. So we've covered right now the standing position, the 14 inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, and the electric legs. There's one more function here. Let me bring these legs down. Also when you're outside, make sure that your foot plate are out not right under the chair. It gives you more room. You don't want to be hitting this bottom piece right here on a sidewalk or on a curb and damaging your electric leg. So make sure they're out probably like this all the time. The front tip wheels right here, earlier, if you've noticed when I was driving the chair, these were on the ground rolling. When you, when you stand the chair up, they do go down on the ground. They roll as the chair roll to give you more support forward support. The next thing we're going to show you is this is called the interior. This is called the interior tilt right here. So this is where as you can see this is called the interior tilt. So there's another function you have that I didn't mention earlier. You have six functions. You have the standing position, the 14-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric leg, and the interior tilt. So that's six electric function. This is as far as it'll tilt forward. It'll help you get out if you need to get out. That's called the anterior tilt. I'm going to bring it back down so you can see now it's down to flat. Okay. So that's that right there. I'm going to turn the chair around. You've got lateral, you got pads here for cap pads. You've got an air cushion here that can be, you can put any cushion you want on here. If you want a foam cushion, gel cushion. This is the most expensive cushion you can get because you, can, you, can, you don't have to keep this cushion on here. You can use your own cushion if you want. But this cushion here, there we go. You have a valve right here in the front. You can see it right there. You can pump air right through this valve. If I don't screw the valve, you can hear the wind. You can hear it. So you can pump air and, and adjust this cushion to your setting. This is the most expensive cushion you can get. So again, I'm going to bring my belt. You have a safety belt here. Not only do you have a chest belt, but you do have a safety belt. 
you have an you have an adjustable you have an adjustable headrest. The whole headrest is adjustable with these settings right here. You have a backpack cushion that comes with this chair that can carry stuff in your backpack. It does have the hooks for the backpack cushion. You've also got cylinders here. You got one for each arm. If I turn the cylinder here, I can adjust the tilt on the arm, or I can bring the tilt down by turning the cylinder this way. So this is where you would adjust the tilt on the arms, okay? You do have reflectors on these chairs. They're not lights, they're just reflectors. You got some in the back, some in the front. Those are just reflectors. When you charge your chair, you take your Permobil charger, plug it in the bottom of your joystick, and as soon as the light goes to full, you're fully charged, the charger will stop charging automatically. So, again, let's recap. This is a Permobil standing power chair with 218 miles. It was used three to six months part-time. Yeah. Um, the chair might be a couple years old. It's been sitting, but it was only used 218 miles. So, you know, you, just, you do the math. It was hardly ever used. Also, the, um, it has the standing feature, the 14-inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs, and the interior tilt. It also has a swing away joystick, the 16 inch gel pads, the chest guard, the knee guards, the safety belt, the Rojo cushions, the lateral pads here. You've got arms that flip up for easy exit. And if you are left handed, all this is on the right can be put on the left side for you. So if you're left handed, we can switch everything to the left. So if you're looking for the one of the most expensive high-end power chair with the best name, the Permobil name, which is the highest quality you can get, this would be a really nice chair to look at. So seven miles an hour is the top speed on this chair. Great suspension going through the grass. Um, as I said, it's, a, it's super smooth, fantastic chair. Nothing wrong with this chair, ready to go. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We are a family owned business for over 25 years. We have many products available, not just what you see in this video. If you would like to learn more, you can call the number below at 800-677 six two nine three or you can visit us directly at www.marksmobility.com